but first, hot on the heels of Susan Boyle, the audience of Britain's Got Talent were treated to another Scottish sensation at the weekend, thanks to the voice of 81-year-old great-granny Janie Cutler singing Edith Piaf's classic No Regrets. She revealed her own reason why she'd waited until now to take on the big time. years have you waited to do that? I'm just thankful I am here tonight. This makes me fill up. Every time I see it, I cried when I saw it. And hearing the Scottish music, she sounds like my granny. Um, but, I mean, obviously, she, she's 81, incredible lady, great set of lungs on her. Um, is there anything that you would, uh, you're sort of waiting to do till you're 81, or do you, you want to get stuck in now, Colleen? Well, I've got a great set of lungs on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm loving everything that I do, and everything I do is a bonus that I have. Do you think you're quite lucky? Because you do get I'm to do really, quite a lot of I think interesting things. I'm really, things. really lucky. Um, but at 81, I will feel really lucky on my couch with my cup of tea, watching what I want to watch on the telly. And, and that's you know, it. I want to be active, but I'm I'm not thinking oh, I want to you know climb climb Mount Everest or something by the time I'm 81. I'm quite just looking forward to chilling out. Is really. there nothing else on your not list long, really. of things to do that you think you might wait until you're 81 to do? Um. Have an yeah. 81st birthday would be a good Yeah, thing, just to it? reach 81 would be <laughs> something I just to think, celebrate. Well, I don't want to be 81, oh, really. How can you say that? Well, because, you know, I'm... I'm what else are you going to do? What are you going to do when you're 81? Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, yeah. you, we all still have Mark. He's going to have lots of years left in him, isn't he, when you're 81? No, he wears me out! <laughs> I'm only 50 now. By the time I'm 60, I'll feel like I'm 81. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, I don't know. I think I think you shouldn't you shouldn't leave things anyway. You shouldn't leave things that long. I yeah. suppose you've always got to do something to try and you know keep yourself you know occupied yeah. and busy and and so your brain's still active. But you know you shouldn't really if you want to do something you should just do it because you might not live till eighty one. Yeah. Hopefully I won't. But by <laughs> really the same token that. as well, you shouldn't think just because you're eighty one that you shouldn't do it. I mean I said she reminded me of my granny. She was a mixture of both my grannies actually, the old Janie. Um, my my granny when she was in her late. 70s, she drove a gold beetle and she let you bomb around. She was a very good, she was always known as Granny with a van because she had used to drive a little van around. And then when she got to her, you know, I think she was 79 when she died, so just before then, you know, she used to bomb around. And I want to be like did my she Granny. Bomb around, she did, she Would was I a have good been the driver driver? behind her no, going, oh, she was, really shouldn't And drive. I take her, I take her <laughs> to the motorway. No, she was fat, she was a really good driver. And I, I take after my Granny, I like a fast car. My ambition, I don't know if I'm going to wait till I'm 81, like, or. Whatever, whatever granny age, granny's age was, uh, I want a Mini Cooper Sport because then I can zip around like my granny did, but with my kids in the back and maybe even squeeze in the dog. Your kids, your kids in the back will be about 50. <laughs> so you let us down. And trust me, your dog will be dead by then. <laughs> it will. It's not going to be with you oh, when you're 81. That's what I'd like I to want do. to be like, um, like my friend Mags, who's 81, who never goes out without full makeup. She wears the most gorgeous clothes, always with trainers, even with an evening dress, she's always got trainers. <laughs> and, and I just, I suppose I just want to sort of keep going. I want to be more Barbara Cartland than the woman that I think I'll be. Because remember, I've always said to you guys that I've got this fear, which I think will happen, of, you know, I'll be this woman in the park who always wears a tea cosy on her head and has bags going, I used to be in Coronation Street, you know. <laughs> <laughs> children, like that children will run past and point. She says you like that now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless you. No, you don't need a crystal ball.